Zasha said, Natalie's groupie. And then the girl said, Natalie's groupie? The that's doing more than you? Got more money than you? And ain't been ran through? And then Zasha said, you're adorable. Biggest fan, huh? What's, What's up, up y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. Y'all know y'all sure know how to pull some mugs out the bed. I y'all. know. I tell you, I we was, was chilling. We was trying to, you know, keep it cute. We dropped one video. Got Molly Watt by Nick and King. In and the so we was section. like, okay, we're going to chill till tomorrow. Yeah. And then we got to come in and say, what? She was like, y'all need to run. To not walk, but run to Zasha's video. I was like, oh, I well, God damn. Well, honey, I done took my little side ponytail out. I said, well, let me throw my little bun up. Babe then took her little do rag <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are. Babe, who are we reacting to today? We are reacting to Z Plus 3 TV's Bullies. Sick of it. Honey, and I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Look at this uh this picture. This is the first picture we see of her. It looked like she rolled out the bed ready to talk Honey, about the I said Zasha ain't even did her baby hairs yet. And ah, she said she ain't even got her contacts she in. She said, Let me let me tap in. Let yeah. Me tap in. But I told y'all she was gonna come with a video. That's why we ain't <laughs> even react to that one from yesterday. Uh-huh. All right, yeah. So before we get a reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. She rolled right out of bed, ready to pop her shit. No, you know it. Teeth ain't even. What? She probably, she probably heard about it yesterday. She was trying to woo sock. Yep. And when she opened her eyes, she was like, "That was not a bad dream." Yep. Because she was going through <laughs> shit in her head. So I haven't even brushed my teeth. I got off to a pretty rough start. Um, no. The amount of text messages and notifications and YouTube DMs, messages or YouTube TikToks. comments and mm -hmm. Instagram comments and even on TikTok like the amount of information that I received this morning was overwhelming like I obviously don't know what was said but like I don't understand why anything was said to begin with hold on so you didn't watch the video it's like, did you really not watch the video or did you tune in? Because if you rolled out the bed and you didn't even brush your teeth, surely you watched the video. I, I ain't about to be trying like they ain't watched the video. Yeah, I would just be like, I saw that motherfucking video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I think. Because every time anybody asks me about them, I'm just like, we don't talk. That's it. That's it. Why? Say no, nah, because even like we, again, me and my wife, we didn't know that it, we didn't feel like there was any beef or drama or yeah. anything. However, the first time my ears perked up was when I did hear uh, Zasha say, you know, I just stay away from them to keep my peace. She said something to that extent. And I was yeah. like, damn, she got to why she got to keep her peace? Like she got, is it something there? And then when Jacina came out and she said her shit, she was like, if you really knew what happened, then da, 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 da. I was like, what? What did she do? <laughs> now everybody saying she, said, she slept with Brian. Be treating me like that. everybody thinks she slept with Brian now. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Even though those words never came out of just seeing the mouth. Yeah, but that's some that's that. Remember in the uh, Neek video, I said you got certain type of manipulators where it's so slick. If you call it out, you look crazy. You yeah. gotta be. Those are the most dangerous people probably in the world about me or imply anything i feel like you're just trying to stir the pot and i hate i'm sorry i still i'm trying to get like this paint off of me and it won't come off like it's everywhere it's in my nails and everything but anyway um so apparently cena posted a video <laughs> i don't i don't know um what the context was and i probably should watch it the thing is i tried to stay off their page and 
even if it has my name in the title, like, oh, are you, you know, whatever with my ex or blah, blah, blah. I try to just not look at it because I feel like it's going to upset me. I feel like it's going to do something and, and it's going to set me back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying so hard to move forward with my own life and my own issues and my own things that I need to deal with. So it's just like really frustrating. And every time I see something that's on their page that pops up on my YouTube or whatever, I just ignore it. I put it to the side. And apparently, that's not enough. I don't know. I just can't. I can't do it. And you guys obviously made it clear that there is an issue. So, um, from what I understand, there was it was implied or someone felt like, you know, Brian and I had something. So let's clear that up. When Josh and I broke up originally, we both stated that no one cheated. No one cheated. That's what that I said. We were just not meant for each other. And that is 100% true. I would never cheat on Josh. I would never cheat on anyone. And then like me and Carla, we even said it. We was like, y'all, the way Jacina is like, low key exposing Brian. Oh, he slept with somebody that I was close to or whatever. Yeah, I don't think that they wouldn't have harried up and pinned her ass to the cross uh, if she slept they, with Brian. They would have drug her ass through the YouTube street. Yes. I said and I actually I put that in a message to somebody. I'm like if they exposed Brian, you don't think they would have They would have molly whopped her ass all over the YouTube streets. Yeah, so... so that yeah. was another reason why we was like, eh, I don't think that happened. Yeah. I don't know how you guys even come up with this. Like, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of you have been following us for, what, five years now. And it's just, it's mind-boggling to me that that would even cross your mind just because... Josh and I broke up and then six months later or something, Cena and Brian broke up or... You know what I think happens too, I think you have agents of chaos, people who wants to cause like confusion or just messed up things and then they try to plant little seeds like, well, what if Zasha slept with Brian? Because when they first came to our comment section with it, it was like, huh? I said, what? So then it went from me sending it in our comment section to when I see other comment sections or, you know, other places, I'm like, I'm seeing people saying that. And I'm yeah. like, this shit grew. Whoever started it, it grew. Mm -hmm. Somebody planted the seed and it grew. You know, officially broke up or whatever it will happen. You know what I'm saying? Like people go through stuff. I, there's so many people breaking up right now. It's just honestly a coincidence. She, you know, is taking her space. He's taking his space. And same for Josh and I, it's just the, the fact that it happened at the same time is just really stressful. And obviously like Josh and I are working through our own stuff, but we're co-parenting just fine. We get along just fine. We don't talk crap about each other. We communicate okay. Like, no, we don't like, hey, how's your day going? But you know, like I drop off the kids. Hey, how are you? Like, I literally just said this in the last video. Like, so why do they hate the you? That I was talking about it. Like, we're good. What's the B? Like, are we perfect? No. <laughs> do we have a lot of stuff to work through? Yes. But for the most you part, we are doing a lot better than most when it comes to like this whole co-parenting thing. Um, I just, the last couple of days, like, don't start crying. Oh, she gonna cry. Last she look days, like it. Really freaking overwhelming. So like to wake up to. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Like, uh, I'm not even on my period. <laughs> like, bitch. <laughs> like, um, the last couple of days have been really overwhelming. So like, we, me waking up to that, it was really freaking emotional. Ugh. I'm just. I do my best to stay away from. Natalie and Cena and Josh and everything that they got going on over there because I just you know I need my own time I need my own space that was a decision that I made I made the decision not to talk to them whether they don't want to talk to me or not that's fine we don't like that's their brother be with your brother support your brother fine but like I said I don't know what it is that she said but I'm just trying to find my own peace. She said if we knew what you really did behind closed doors, then 
we would be shocked or some shit like that. So <laughs> I just want to know, like, what did you do to, like, piss them off? Yeah. Like, what happened? I'm tired of people just, like, acting like they going to spill some tea and they don't spill not a damn thing. I know. I told Nick, I said, that damn teacup Jacina had on there. <laughs> I said, she should have not even put that yeah, shit on there. Yeah, that wasn't no tea spill. <laughs> I mean, and it's fine. Like, I get it. Like, okay, I don't want to put all my business out there. That's cool. So just straight up say, I'm not going to put my business out there. Don't make us feel like you finna spill tea. And then spill some shit that make people go wild, like the crowd go wild and run with shit. I'm just trying to find my own, like, I'm just trying to find myself. And I know that I need to separate myself from certain people in order to do that and then like, when she say i just i just want to stay away from them and everything that got going on it and she said toxic. she said it's that it's so it makes us it's insinuating that they are toxic yeah so that's what i'm saying it's little stuff like that that people will take and they'll run with it because everybody want to try to read in between the lines mm-hmm. i think it's better for me it's better for my heart it's better for like There's just so much, there's always so much going on in their lives that I feel like the last few months have been so peaceful because I don't need to deal with other people's drama and lives or whatever it is that they got going on. You know, I deal with mine and that's it. Like, oh yeah. Can you imagine her going from, you know, it's like she already got her and then she got her kids. But can you imagine, like, when something happened with their family? They all stick together. They significant other or they friends. It's like the more people you have around you, it's almost like the energy that they have, it's like it, they got stuff that's going on. And then, of course, you're going to hear about it, even if you're not in the midst. And they can be exhausting. Mm-hmm. So it's just better for us not to talk right now. But like, I don't know, waking up this morning was like the icing on the freaking cake for me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the last few days have been so freaking overwhelming and I don't know what's going on. I don't know what shifted. I don't know what happened, but I'm just trying to do my best to get through it and it's just Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I get it I get it I don't know why people I don't know why people get a kick out of making other people feel like shit I try my best to take the high road I try my best not to let people get to me and if you know me I am like always that person for everyone else. I'm like, look, don't let people get to you. Don't let them take that power from you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, ignore, 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 ignore. Don't react, don't react, don't react. Because I have a tendency and I have a past of emotional reactions, emotional reactions, doing exactly what I feel. And like... Yeah, I think somebody actually mentioned that... um, they was like, Zasha ain't going to take this one good. They was like, she don't take ch- hits on the chin well. Yeah. So they was like, her ego ain't going to let her be quiet. Hmm. And like, it's never ended well for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's just taking the time to really do that. And then yesterday, fucking Jazz, Natalie's best friend, writes me a damn text message. Like, oh, keep Natalie's name out your fucking mouth. Like, oh, I'm so mad at myself. And I've been trying to find because I did see some people say in the comment section that Zasha been like talking like a little bit of stuff about them on TikTok lives. So I went and I tried to find past lives that she's done so I can see, okay, let's see what type of energy that um, she's bringing to the Odell's name. Yeah. Because, you know, it's like, it's a difference between hearing that somebody says something and actually watching it for yourself, seeing their facial expressions, their their breath, their, you know, the little shady things that they'll do to, mm-hmm. to change the whole thing up. Or reacting, because I wrote her back with the quickness. 
I roll her back. Hello, what a sign that? Okay, hey beautiful soul, just checking on you. Been praying for you for peace and stability. You are an amazing person. Shit happens. It's how we move forward. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. And then she said, please leave Natalie's name out of your mouth. She said, girl, bye. Ain't nobody talking about Natalie laugh my ass off. And what you gonna do? Please let me know. <laughs> she said, <laughs> and then she said, then, um, uh, what's her name? Zasha. Zasha. She said, keep your drama to yourself, little girl. Bye. This ain't high school. And then the girl said, girl, it's so sad to be that old and still be clout chasing. She said, baby girl, my numbers are growing with me posting about me. Pay attention. And then she said, you're right. This ain't high school. That's why I said what the fuck I said. <laughs> Ooh, damn. She said, and then Zasha said, LOL, okay, bye. And then the girl said, that's why you said Natalie not trying to get your start, right? That's why you said Natalie's not trying to get your start, right? I know she popping, but damn, everyone's laughing at this shit. She said, baby, who even are you? Laugh out loud. And then uh, she laughed. And then uh, Zasha said, Natalie's groupie. And then the girl said, Natalie's groupie, the bitch that's doing more than you, got more money than you, and ain't been ran through? Damn. Ooh. And then Zasha said, you're adorable. Biggest fan, huh? This shit rough. But you know, that first message you read, it seemed like they used to communicate. So look at the date on that. That's yeah. Like, so it's like, that's the last message Zasha sent yeah. to her. So they were So cool. it's almost like everybody was cool, but then when she broke up with Zash, did the switch flip and now they don't fuck with her? Or now true emotions are coming out? I don't know. I saw people were saying in the comments that... Um, I guess Natalie and Zasha, they had unfollowed each other before and then followed each other. So they said they had beef before the breakup because they had unfollowed each other. And then they said they followed each other, started making videos together, and then when they broke up... And I understand, like, you know, you have different people with different personalities, but one, another person, they was like, dang, it's crazy how Jacina has so much smoke for Zasha, you know, the mother of um, Josh's kids, but Josh don't have nowhere near that type of smoke for Brian, who did, who where they had to call the cops on them and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, dang, what does I should do so so bad for them to just be like this? I don't know. It just seemed like or one seem situation is getting highlighted more than the other. You know, so it's kind of like Jacina and Brian, they're in control of what gets spilled for them. So now it's kind of like... And then she gets boldly got... behind the scene. Like, just think if your life already feel like it's like going out of control, spiraling, spiraling yeah. out of control... And then you have people sending you messages like this, like, we're all laughing at you. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks. So bad. I'm so freaking mad at myself because I'm not supposed to let people fucking get to me. And I did. And truth be told, Natalie's name wasn't even in my mouth. I posted on my close friends that I feel, like, really alone right now because, like, I'm trying to make queer friends in the community and I feel like you know everybody knows Natalie and I'm trying to separate myself from Natalie and I feel like all the friends that I am trying to make all the friends that I'm trying to be around whatever so that I like because I'm going through like this transition and I want well, to girl, understand me honey move move somewhere else it's like people you ain't feel like they want to be in there where it's just kind of like how she like I need a uh, manage, uh, management team to manage me. So that that's because she's in that world. Cause I saw this one person in the comment section. It's like, you don't need a management team to, you know, get good brand deals and stuff. They send emails to me all the time and I'm a TikToker. I mean, that may be true, but she in Hollywood and shit. Who knows? This may be a certain way you can't move me. You let the models get too big, like the Kardashians. Oh man, they gonna be, did y'all see the Murdoff, uh, that Murdoff story? You give a little person a little power and they will murk your ass for the little bit of shit and you mm -hmm. won't be able to do nothing about it. Watch the Murdoch case on uh, Netflix. Mm -hmm. Honey, we already seeing a little taste of the Odell power now. 
She trying to find people that ain't friends with Natalie. Child. And understand and have been through the same things that I'm going through and the same thoughts that I'm going through. And I felt like I expressed that everyone knows Natalie and I feel like I can't really be in those same circles without mm -hmm. running into her eventually, which we do enough of. You know what I'm saying? And then Jazz goes and texts me aggressive and I'm like girl keep that little baby shit to yourself like what are you really gonna do are you threatening me like you're threatening me I shouldn't have wrote back do you understand I shouldn't have wrote back because everything she said after that I tried to brush off I tried to be like yeah yeah okay but it hurt yeah, yeah. It did. I was like girl ain't nobody worried about Natalie I'm doing my own thing I'm doing my own thing. I'm posting about me. I'm posting about my transition. It's like, yeah, you're doing your own thing, but it really hurts when you're kind of unsure of yourself. You're in a spot where you're a bit unsure. It's like her content switching up, her views not getting nowhere near as they used to. So it's like having to face that truth or having somebody call that out. It just, yeah, it hurts. Yeah, but that's just, it's, this is just the beginning. Yeah. And we don't know what her transition is going to be. Yeah, but when you're in this spot, it's like you're kind of vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm posting about what I'm going through. I'm posting about me. There's no, I literally try to steer away from posting anything that has to do with that family. I need to see with them lies. Natalie or whatever the case, whatever I said. She goes on to like say like, oh, who Natalie? The girl that got more money than you, that's doing better than you, that's doing like all this shit or whatever, like basically I can't compare. And I'm like, yeah, I literally just told you on fucking YouTube that shit's hard right now. <laughs> Ooh. So. And then I was like, okay, so did she get the house? Because I know when they broke up, so Josh, who got the bigger channel, and he went back to his little apapartment. I know she kept the house with the pool, and I, she out See, there in I California. Didn't, I didn't even know that, because at first, I guess when we first saw her, she was saying that she was staying at a friend house. So it's just based off of the comments. I so. just know it's expensive already to, to live in California. I can only imagine how much rent is every, I mean, well, not rent. If it's a house, it's probably mortgage how much the mortgage is for that house Yeah. every month. And then her little channel, hopefully, I mean, I know they said she's a celebrity makeup artist, so I don't know if business rolling in that way. Mm -hmm. I saw a video when she was trying to do a video with her son where they're trying to do like real talk. I let it play for like the first, like maybe three minutes. And I was like, dang, it seemed like they like kind of struggling to kind of have a conversation on camera. Mm -hmm. Shit. When Jazz texted me yesterday, I feel like I'm going through so much already. And when Jazz texted me yesterday with all this, like, y'all, who is Jazz? Tell us what video we can find her in. Yes, I don't know. I thought I just remember the one other friend that she was, and I can't even remember her name right yes, now. Yes, let's see what she, who she is. <laughs> Nah, it's kicking her while she down on this ground like this, nah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. She probably yeah, had an anxiety attack. And you and all this and whatever, whatever, like, keep my name, keep my girl's name out your mouth and shit. Like, I'm happy. It's not, I'm happy for Natalie. I'm happy for everybody. It's just like. She trying to figure her own face. shit like, out. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking going through shit right now. I'm taking care of three kids. Like, if it was me by myself, bro, the way I would be hustling, the way I would be doing shit. But I take care of three children that need me mentally, physically, financially. So for this bitch. Oof. To write and me, like, on some childish shit, I let it get to me, and I'm so upset with myself. I let it get to me, and I wrote her back. God, I'm so stupid. And then to wake up to that shit this morning, it was just so much. It's too much, bro. Like, I don't I just want to be left alone. She Ooh. felt like...
focus, her against the world. Leave Britney alone. Just leave me alone. I just want to be left alone. I separate myself for a fucking reason. I separate myself for a reason. Like, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to do all this by myself. I don't... No. I'm just trying to do my best. And I feel like... I don't know, man. I'm getting tested. Mm -hmm. I'm getting poked at. I chose to separate myself. I don't want any drama. They're not talking to me right now. That's their choice. And that's fine. I'd really rather it that way. And the kids are happy as heck. And it's just like, that's what's important. That's good. That's what's important. I try to put on a smile, you know, when I'm feeling like this. But overall, guys, I have been happy. It's just like the last couple of days has been back to back to back. Jazz. Jazz. Jazz freaking texting me and trying to bully me into an argument and then I get a whole bunch of messages this morning and it's just like it was freaking overwhelming on top of the fact that I'm just like trying to find my way through this whole like life you know anyway love you guys oh that's it this might be long I don't know that wasn't even long girl I didn't even know we was done well um, it sounds rough, man. What's your final thought? It does. It's like she's over there trying to figure things out. And, you know, it's hard. Because I can imagine how she was looking when she saw the first messages about what was possibly said. And she just don't even know yet. And she just like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? You know, when she usually do her little crime videos, she don't really have tears in her eyes. She had most... Her eyes was a bit more wet than when she was going through her little breakups with her uh, and her little drama. Yeah. Yeah. I just so hope she, they can figure that shit yeah. out. Because, like, even like I was telling Nick, regardless of what Jacina was saying about how they try to, you know, be around the kids and make it seem like ain't nothing going on. You can get away with that now because they little. But, like, if y'all don't get it together, kids pick up on energy almost better than we do. You can't tell me Isaiah <laughs> ain't seeing what's oh, going Isaiah on. Because he probably, know. they have a young, they attract a younger crowd already, that whole bunch. So you can't tell me kids his age ain't like, dang, you see what's going on with your uh, mama or you see this. And you know what? Just another thing too, Zasha, she has been at it for a long time. Like, YouTube occasionally will send me old videos of her on Dr. Miami. I saw one video, it was a thumbnail of her just but butter connected her breast out and i was like what is sasha doing on here and she was on dr <laughs> miami getting that stuff up her breast it was something else on there i was like dang i was like she where she you know a lot of her stuff she's been doing she's just been at it for a long time out in that world trying to figure it out i know i saw did you see that little painted comment where somebody was like maybe she can it was some go like go back to safari go back to safari <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing too, like when they, when people know your past, especially if they it's something that can be go. kind of embarrassing or something that they can flip and, and tease you about, they, they'll they never let it go. Yeah. Shit rough, man. Man. It's actually rough for a lot of people, you know? We all trying to figure it out. The economy going through things. Banks collapsing. The bank in Silicon Valley, that mug collapsed. You know, we this is a time that, you know, we we all just going through and trying to figure out our place. But um, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Y'all pulled us out of bed. I can put my do rag on, lay back down, and uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to catch y'all next time. Peace.